but it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and on today's video we're going to take another look at Facebook and how to clean up your news feed and also remove some of the things on there which may be deemed as unsuitable, sensitive or just darn right clickbait. Let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how. Okay so we've logged into Facebook so this is our main feed so we want to go into our account over here and then we want to go into settings and privacy. And at the bottom here, go down to the section that says feed. If for some reason you can't find this, you can just use the search box and choose your feed. So in this section, now we can choose to manage our feed. Now we're going to avoid favorites at the moment and also snoozing because those are obviously pretty common. This is the one we're going to look at today. Unfollow people and groups. So if you're getting a lot of messages in your feed from groups that you've been a member of, but you don't necessarily want them there, then you can get rid of those and also then alternatively you can reconnect to some if you decide that is not for you and also this one here at the bottom reduce this is the important one so this is going to be from managing content that's reduced or moved lower in the feed so basically we can choose various sections so let's do the first one the unfollow people and groups first of all because you may want to be friends with someone but you don't necessarily want to see their stuff on your feed every day so you can go down through if you want to. If there's a specific thing or person which is uh, troublesome on your feed, you can just search them in here. Alternatively, you can just scroll down through and check any of these which you don't want to see anymore. So for instance, in a moment, I'm not particularly interested in seeing IKEA tips, hacks and more. So I can unfollow that. And also the Lian Lee Owners Group, I'm not very really interested in that at the moment. So let's get rid of that one. And you get the general idea. So you can just scroll down through and remove any ones you don't necessarily want. Now obviously there's gonna be friends, family, and all sorts on there. So just uh, remove them as you see fit. So that is the unfollow section. That should clean up your feed. And you may find that there's some things that you're actually following that you didn't even realize you were following, so you can get rid of those as well. So when you're happy with that, you can go back. And now we're gonna go down to the important one. So this is the reduce section. So this is reducing things on your feed. So this is the type of things we can reduce here. So there's low quality content, or what Facebook deems as being low quality content. With these, you can play around with them and change them however you see fit. So if we go into this section here, you've got the option. So you can choose to don't reduce. So you might get more of them on your feed. The default is actually to reduce them. But if you're getting tired of some of these things, you can go to this one, reduce more. So these posts will be even lower in the feed, so you may not see them all. So eventually you will see them if you scroll down your feed far enough, but generally it's gonna try and relegate them towards the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll choose that one, and it gives you information about what you're about to do, so click OK. So that's our low quality content. Next we can go down to unoriginal content and problematic sharing. Again, you've got the same sort of thing, so you can don't reduce, so that it'll be equally available on your feed. Reduce is the default and reduce more. So we're gonna choose reduce more and again, click okay. Now we can go back and we'll go down to the last one. So this one's sensitive content. At the moment here in the UK, we are heading into a general election in the coming months. So there's gonna be a lot of things on your feed potentially from people you follow or just businesses trying to tell you to vote one way or the other. So if you wanna try and reduce some of that and also graphic and violent content, go into this one here. The default setting is reduce anyway, but if you wanna reduce it even more so they're less likely to appear towards the top of your feed, then you can click on this one here. Once you're happy, you can see what's gonna happen here. So it says you may see fewer posts in your feed that are things such as sexually suggestive content, borderline violent or graphic content, and yeah, stuff that goes against the community standards. Also, you may see fewer posts from some friends and family if they share that type of content. So again, if you don't wanna be triggered over the coming election months and also just going through the year, then click on OK. So there we go, all of our preferences have been updated and what we can do now is close this down. If we do a refresh, you should find that your content on your feed will be more to your liking. So there you go, potentially a more beneficial thing to those of us in the UK over the coming months with the election coming, and also for those of you in the United States when uh, the elections kick in over there towards the later half of this year, you may find this uh, very useful indeed to remove some of that stuff from your feed if you don't want to get involved with politics or you don't want to see graphic images and all that kind of usual stuff. 
So anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of all future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.